What's good, what's good, what's good, my sizes? We're back again with another video, and today I'm super excited to be telling you guys all about the best free attractions here in Vegas. Let's get into it. All right, you guys, the first place I want to mention is a hidden gem. It's called Ethelem Chocolates. It's about four miles from the strip, and it is absolutely gorgeous. It's a cactus garden that you can walk around for free, and it's a store but not just any store, they make chocolates. It's a chocolate factory and you can actually watch them make the chocolates. They give you free samples, usually they have different flavors, but it's also a store as well. And with this cactus garden, it is so gorgeous because they have different types of plants, some that are even native to just Nevada, and they have like the little informational plaques as well. I did do a video about this, so if you want more information about this place, I will tag this video here. But I just absolutely love it, and it's so quiet here. Even if they do play a little music in the cactus garden area, it's just very quiet and a lovely area to take your family. The next place I want to talk about is also kind of a hidden gem, but it's off the strip. This is at the Silverton Casino, and the cool thing about this is that they have a couple of things to offer here. So they have an aquarium, which you can see at any time. But they also do aquarium feedings and mermaid shows. So the aquarium feedings are daily at 1.30 p.m. and 4.30 p.m. And the mermaid shows only take place Thursday through Sunday at different points in time. And they last about 15 minutes each. And this is where you just see the mermaid and usually a scuba diver just kind of swim around and interact with the kids and interact with the fish and it's just a really cool experience and honestly I think your kids would love it and if they're really big into animals and not afraid of like life-size animals right next door is Bass Pro Shop where it's a store but they have life-size animals there that are just stuffed and I'm afraid of it but if your kids aren't take them there too because that's really cool. The next place I want to talk about is at the Venetian. So they do this thing called Streetmosphere, and here is the times, the performances, and the locations. They have three different things. The cool thing about this performance here is that they actually have to sing in Italian. What I love about Streetmosphere is that they offer different shows too. Like this is a different area, and here we have people just casually playing music. There's another area too, but there was no performance going on there, but there's supposed to be another one too. The cool thing about this though is that the people who do the canal when there's a shift change, they have to sing hello and goodbye, and it's actually really cool because it's all acapella. The next show I want to talk about is the Lake of Dreams located at the Wynn, and I feel like not a lot of people know about this because I've lived here most of my life and I had never even heard of this, but it's by the same creators of the Bellagio Fountains, and it starts at 8.30 p.m. and it happens every 30 minutes. I know their website says 7.30, but trust me, you guys, it starts at 8.30 p.m. every single night, and it goes off every 30 minutes. And the show lasts about three to four minutes, so it's nothing too long either. Okay, this next one is going to be a shock, but I am a sucker for the circus acts offered at Circus Circus. Everyone knows about them, and honestly, what I love about them the most is that they're always different acts. They're never the same person, and it just gives it, like, flavor. And I love that it's, like, a family-friendly event, and it's they put on a show, each performer. The circus acts are daily, Monday through Thursday. The shows start at 1.30 and run every hour after that until 8.30 p.m. And then on the weekends, so Friday and Saturday, the shows start at 11.30 a.m. and run every hour after that until 11.30 p.m. So if you are at Circus Circus on a Friday or a Saturday, but you do happen to spend all of your time, like all day, at Adventure Dome, have no fear because you could still go catch a show before 11.30 p.m. because that's their last showing. But honestly, I just love how there's so many different things. And in each performance, you can see everybody's personality. Like, they make it their own. And I absolutely love that. And it's not always, like, staged, per se. I already know what you guys are thinking. The Bellagio Fountains is a very obvious answer to what is a free attraction that is worth it. But hear me out. I'm not just recommending you go watch the Bellagio Fountains. I'm recommending you go do it at night. First of all, it is definitely not as hot as it is at nighttime than it is during the day. Secondly, it's just more aesthetically pleasing. Like, you could see all of the lights, you could watch the show, it's just beautiful. But I will say, not every single water show will be worth it. I filmed two different fountain shows for the Bellagio in this clip, and the first show, I'm not going to lie to you guys, it sucked. But this second show right here, I was mind blown. And I live here. I see these all the time. My mind was literally blown. But they do this show every single day. 
Monday through Friday, 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. is every 30 minutes, and then 8 p.m. to midnight is every 15 minutes. Saturday, Sunday, and holidays is every 30 minutes, noon to 8 p.m., and then 8 to midnight is every 15 minutes they put on a show. So I'm telling you guys, if you watch the show and it's not good, try again because there are better ones. And this one too is an obvious answer as well, but I just love it. I won't lie to you guys, it used to be better. All the animals, all the decorations, everything used to be made of flowers. And now it's not. But this display, they always look beautiful, no matter what. So even though it's not as same as before, they still are always just as beautiful. And they switch this out five times a year, once for every season and then once for Chinese New Year. And I won't lie to you guys, this place is always crowded. But again, I would recommend doing it at nighttime because it just hits different. There's something about the natural lighting and the garden and it just makes it more beautiful and you would just appreciate it more often. But yes, this is also an obvious answer, but it's definitely worth it. And people come here for a reason. This place is just absolutely gorgeous. And they also just changed it too. So this is definitely new. It is set for the summer because summer is just now starting. But I would definitely recommend coming to see this with your family because, wow, it's just gorgeous, gorgeous. So many beautiful photo opportunities to see here. Now this last one, I'm so excited to tell you guys about because not that many people know about it. It is still inside of the Bellagio, but it's a hidden gem because not that many people know about it. It's the world's largest chocolate fountain. Obviously, it's going to have your white, medium, and dark chocolate, but the chocolate rises over 27 feet. This display is over 27 feet long. That, to me, is just absolutely crazy. This is like a mini Willy Wonka chocolate factory, and lately I have been saying that a lot in my videos, but I mean, can you blame me? And it's always running. But it is genuinely the world's largest chocolate fountain. It even has the Genesis World Records next to it to prove, like, it's legit. I absolutely love this. It's definitely a hidden gem because not that many people know about it. And it's located down a hallway. So if you find it, let me know down in the comments. Hey guys, this is just a list of some of my favorite free attractions. There's definitely a lot more. So if you want that video, I can do another one of these. But these ones are definitely my favorite because a lot of people don't know about this fountain either. If you like this video, be sure to smash the subscribe button, comment, like. You guys know what to do. See you guys later. Toodles!